check, check. Let's become familiar with the buttons on the side of the camera that you are going to need to know to set things like white balance, shutter speed, gain iris. You need to know where the menu button is and the scroll wheel. So we'll just start from the right side. Let's talk about real quick the manual versus auto button. So right here, there's a little switch and you want to have it pushed uh, over to the right so it's in manual mode for all of these things I'm about to show you. <laughs> they need to be in manual. Uh, the shutter speed button is here. The white balance button is here. The gain button, which is unlike um, in audio class, gain is volume. This is light through the, the iris being opened or closed more. This little wheel here, it's really hard to move it without covering it up, but I use my finger and it rolls up and down. And that's one of the ways that you set things in the, in the menu. And then speaking of the menu, here's the menu button right there. Um, there are a couple other buttons that, that you want to know on this side of the camera. So this on the barrel of the, of the lens is the ND filter or neutral density filter. The neutral density filter um, is like sunglasses for your camera. There's just no better way to describe it. The sunglasses are used when it's sunny and bright and painfully bright and it does not allow you to see detail. It just helps filter out some of that brightness and um, allows you to basically to see what's happening in bright, bright areas. And, and there are three settings for that, 1 4th, 1 16th, and 1 64th. And it's off right now. Under the ND filter is the iris. Um, that's, you push that to uh, pull it up in the menu. The focus assist is pretty nifty. Um, again, you wanna have this uh, switch on your focus set to manual. Um, push autofocus, that's, I don't use that that much, I just manually focus usually. Here's some user buttons that you can look in the <laughs> manual, uh, how to use those, it's really beyond the scope of this class. Um, and the last thing that is handy to know, with the button I'm showing you right now is basically just the lens cover, so you can it, oops, you don't have a lens cover that comes on and off. It opens and closes when, when you move the open and closed. See that? So if you ever turn the camera on and it's black, don't freak out. It's just probably that thing is closed. We'll just keep working our way around the side of the camera here. Um, up in the front here, tilt up a little bit, up in the front, is the built-in microphone right there. This is the holder for the microphone when you have a shotgun. It holds it right there. It's a little bit tough to see. This is your uh, second microphone um, input, the audio input two. Audio input one is, <clears throat> excuse me, up here, right there. This is where you would plug in headphones. Um, there's a couple of different uh, jacks that you can um, plug into this particular camera because it's a pro video camera. And you know, so it's made to interface with a bunch of stuff. This one actually has Wi-Fi too, and which is pretty cool. I've never used it. Let me go ahead and shut those. And the on off button, you already know. Back here, this is a USB port, um, other devices, HDMI cable, the battery you're familiar with. Here's the eyepiece, which I never use. I just use the LCD screen. All right, so let's bring this back around here.